Hello everyone, my name is Stanley St. Rose, and today we're going to be talking about adultery, um, how it's, um, why it's bad, how it's bad, and what the Bible says about it, what God says about it, um, and how much God hates adultery. Um, now, adultery, you know, we can look at you know, several points within the Bible. Um, Jesus talked about adultery, and he says that a man who looks um, at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in, 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 in his heart. Um, and, and that's very significant right there. Um, a lot of men, you can, under, uh, you can already understand, um, lust a lot, especially in the modern day of today with pornography, uh, with social media, with Instagram, and, and, and um, everywhere you look, um, there's, there's, there's opportunity for lust. And lust is, is quite deadly because, again, lust is for the carnal man. The carnal man cares about nothing spiritual, about nothing mental. Carnal man does not look at a woman with love. The, the carnal man does not care about the emotions or feelings uh, of, of a woman. The carnal man only wants sex. The carnal man does not care. Um, the carnal man only cares about the flesh. Um, the, the carnal man only cares about the pride of life, the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh. The carnal man uh, is hedonistic. Uh, so we have to really understand that in adultery, the, the, the carnal man, the carnal woman, the adulteress, uh, it's all about sex. It's all about pleasing the flesh. It's all about indulging into the flesh. Um, and, and it's deadly. It's something that leads to hell. It's something that leads to destruction. It's something that God absolutely hates uh, because nothing good comes of it. Now, for women, it, this is always deadly. And we have to understand this very clearly that uh, for women... The more breakups, the more relationships go bad, the more bitter women become. And this is very deadly for women. Women do not win in, in the arena of multiple partners because the more men uh, uh, breaks a woman's heart, the more bitter she becomes uh, and she becomes scorned. She becomes bitter. She becomes angry. Um, and, and honestly, after, if a woman has a sample size of multiple uh, men and she cannot be loved and she cannot find love, um, she will go on it alone. And, and you know, a, a woman who, who gets hurt this many times, it's never good. It, it, it becomes very deadly. It becomes very deadly. Um, so the adulterous woman, the Bible really, honestly, the, the Bible tells us to run away. It tells the, the man to run away from the adulterous woman. I'm not talking about the upright, the righteous uh, woman. I'm talking about the woman uh, who is hedonistic, who is carnal herself. Um, and who is only after to please herself. I mean, in, in modern media, in, in society today, uh, you know, a lot of people will believe that, that women will regret promiscuity or women will regret um, being with lots of men. That's not what the Bible says. That's not what the Word of God says. The, the adulteress does not regret. The adulteress, the Bible tells us to run, to run away from the adulteress. It does not tell us that, well, the adulteress is going to come to her senses and hit this wall and, and regret it. No, the adulteress, the Bible tells us that the adulteress loves her adultery. Um, her, her lips drip like honey. She's a flatterer. Um, she will lead you to, the, to your grave. Um, so we look at Potiphar's wife. Potiphar's wife would have led Joseph to his grave. You know, she, she was a woman. You know, she had the high value, man. She had Potiphar. He had the money. He had the property. He had the, the prestige, but still she wanted to sleep with Joseph. Um, the Bible tells us that Joseph was a handsome a man. Uh, Potiphar's wife wanted to sleep with Joseph. Uh, and when she realized she couldn't sleep with him, um, well, she, she said that Joseph tried to rape her. Um, and she had Joseph cast into prison. Um, and and not even, uh, we can keep going. I mean, when we look at Herod, John the Baptist told Herod, listen, that woman that you're with, she's not your wife. That's not proper. That's not right. That's not holy. That's not just, you know, that, that's your brother's wife. And, and you know, that she, the woman was angry and she had John the Baptist's head on a platter. Um, and because her, her daughter danced for Herod, um, you can imagine that the dance was very sexual because the, the Herod was like, man, that dance was so good. It was so well that I'll give you half the king kingdom. <laughs> very significant, very significant. And because of that, uh, because of, of lust, because of, of adultery, John the Baptist's uh, head was put on a platter. All right. Uh, so, so adultery is something that's very deadly. Sexual immorality is one of those sins in the Bible that's very deadly. Think about David and Bathsheba. Think about Samson and Delilah. 
Think about um, Solomon and his 700 wives and 300 concubines. Uh, adultery is something that's deadly. And, and I'll, I'll, I'll even tell you that, that adultery or, or men who chase or carnal men who chase after the flesh, uh, it, it becomes their kryptonite. Um, sex becomes their kryptonite. Um, life, there, there's a lot of things to do in life. You know, life is filled uh, with, with things to accomplish. And God has called us uh, uh, to a purpose, uh, for a reason. And, and uh, think about David. David was, was a king. David was a musician. David was a, a leader, a shepherd. Uh, he wrote Psalms. I mean, David did so many things. He was such uh, a, a man of God. I mean, literally David even went to build a temple for God, but God's like, you know, David, calm down. Your hands are very bloody. I'll have your son do it. David was a man of God, you know. David was like, God, listen, you say jump, I'll, I'll, you know, how high? I'll just do it. David David was a sniper. Listen, he, he did not question God. He just did what God said. Um, and, and, and it's very significant. He is a true man after God's own heart. Um, and so... You know, when when David went into that well entanglement with Bathsheba, it was deadly. You know, he he forgot about his God, and he was all he was in the carnal man. He was listening to his carnal man. He was listening to his flesh. Uh, um, Samson, you know, listening to his flesh and you know, listening to Delilah and her sweet words that that you know her lips drip like honey. You know, her lips drip like honey. Delilah's lips drip like honey. She was flattering, sweet smooth and and she whispered into samson's ears until he gave up his secrets um solomon he was a man you know moving after god a man after god's own heart a man you know seeking god but you know he started listening to his 700 wives and 300 concubines um and he was led astray you know uh so so sex in many ways can be a man's kryptonite um, there is, I mean, listen, God created sex in the, in the context of marriage, you know, have your fun, um, enjoy your marriage, have your children, be happy. But in terms of, of, of sexual morality, adultery, lust, it is quite deadly. It's, it's something that can take you away from your purpose. It is something that can separate you, separate you away from God. And we have to really understand God does not like to share. He will not share. Um, if you're devoted to God, you're devoted to God. If you're going to walk in God's statutes, you walk in God's statutes. You keep his commandments. If, you know, God says one man, one woman, you get married, ha you know, have a happy life. That That's in God's will. You know, you follow him, you keep one wife, have a happy life. That's in his will. Uh, but multiple women, uh, concubines, mistresses, side chicks, uh, you know, the whole nine. Honestly, you're, you're draining your energy. Um, and a man that has multiple women, you cannot, you don't, you do not have any other energy. You do not have any other self left to develop yourself, to, to, to progress, to, to become more efficient, to become more successful. Um, because if you're chasing after sex all your life, the sum of your life will be sex. I mean, if you, if you are feeding the carnal man all your life, you feed the carnal man, your life will end empty um, it was it would just be bodies after bodies, and and for, and for some men that that is exactly what they want. For some men that sounds great. For some men that sounds great. But if the meaning of your life is just the carnal flesh, you're missing out on on the entirety of life. Because life, there's so much to do in life. There's so much that you can accomplish in life. There's so much that your that your life is created for. Don't waste it away after the flesh. Because a lot of men have been led astray by the adulteress. A lot of men have been led astray um, cheating in their marriage or having multiple people. or um, and, and it hurts. It also hurts. Because the, the worst pain on this planet, the worst pain to feel is, is, um, is, is, is loving someone or being in a relationship with someone. And they take out a, a, steely, a steely knife and stab you in the heart. You know, someone that, that you thought was loyal, trustworthy, you trusted with your health. You trusted them with your health, with your mental health, your physical health, your, your your bodily health. You know, you trusted them and and they're sleeping with somebody behind your back that can endanger you in many in many different ways, emotionally, physically, health wise. It, it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, and, and this is why so many diseases exist. Um, this is why sexual morality and, and adultery can be so bad because we're talking about diseases. We're talking about mental problems. We're talking about emotional problems. We're talking about it goes deep. 
it, it really definitely uh, goes to the core of the issue when it comes to adultery and, and sexual immorality. So uh, adultery is one of is, is definitely it, it, it's cheating. It's you know you're a married man. Uh, you know you're, you you take another a person without your wife knowing, or as Jesus said, you look at a woman with lust in your heart. Uh, you look at a woman with lust, and you have you've already committed adultery. Because in your mind, you, you know you're you're using your mental faculties to to imagine a certain sexual situations. Because of some lady you just saw on the street, and now you're in your mind, you you know you're you're creating certain situ uh, situational images that are very deadly, and sooner or later you'll take those sexual images that you, those those fantasies that you've created in your mind and try to apply them within the real world. You know this is this is where you get sick people. So this sin, the sin of adultery, is one that God absolutely hates. It's appalling. It it is something that 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 really um, separates people apart. So you definitely have to be careful with it because it, it is one of the sins that that is well covered within the Bible. And sexual sin, I mean, from Genesis to Revelation, it is well covered. I mean, the Bible the Bible really brings it home on this issue and how. Because it, it can hurt you emotionally, it can stab you in the heart, it can it can damage your life in so many types of ways. So this is one, this is one sin we definitely have to be careful uh, because it's a sin that affects you in, in all ways, physically, emotionally, mentally, um, self esteem wise, confidence wise. It, it takes you away, you know. When when you're doing that, when David is, is was sinning with Bathsheba, uh, when 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 Samson, um, Solomon, um, when they were when they were feeding their common man, they were not close to God. They were not close to God. So, you know, lust, pornography, um, we really have to, um, you know, run away. Run away from them. Because that's what the Bible tells us. That's what the Bible tells us. So that, that's adultery. That's the explanation. For that, that's what it is. Um, and yeah. I'll see you guys in the next one.